G'day guys, welcome back to WA Now and Then. Got uh, another little product I picked up recently to show you today. Uh, now I don't know if you've seen these before, but there are some very expensive versions of this around the traps. But uh, this one, I'm not even going to tell you where I got it, you're going to know by now where I got this from. Uh, this was 30 bucks. Um, I don't really know what it's going to be like, <laughs> uh, but um, there are a lot of lightweight camping chairs coming on the market now, and some of them are very, very expensive. So uh, without any further ado, let's open it up and have a look, see how it goes together. From what I've seen on YouTube, these things are very flimsy looking, but they do apparently hold a reasonable amount of weight. Now this one is supposed to take 120 kilos. Now the caveat there I suppose is that I am a little bit over that. Not much, but uh, I am actually going to go slightly over the weight limit of what this says it will take. So it'll be interesting to see just how strong it actually is. And of course it's uh, very simple to put together as you can see from that and that's the basic frame and then on top of that you've got the seat part now I just have to work out which is the top and which is the bottom of this okay that's the top You do have to put a fair bit of pressure on this to get these to slot in. Ugh, it's not the easiest, to be quite honest. Okay. There's really not a big pocket in these things. I would have liked to see something probably a little bit deeper than that, but I guess it'll be okay. They should know what they're doing. I usually like to do the top ones first. Just make sure they're well seated into the pockets because the pockets are pretty small. Ooh, ah, takes a bit of pressure to get that in. And that's all there is to it. Not very tall. Let's make sure these are all seated properly. Now comes the big test. Because if this thing will take my weight, I guess it uh, is as advertised. As you can see, it hasn't been used before. It's still got all the labels and things on it. Let's see how we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, do I feel comfortable in that? It's pretty snug. <laughs> now, if this is meant to hold 120, uh, I don't. Yeah, can't say I really feel that comfortable in it. The seat at the bottom doesn't come out far enough. It's just suitable for sitting in. Uh, I'm taking some of the weight with my legs because it is so low but yeah I wouldn't want to move around in this too much it's only just suitable to sit in it's a bit wobbly okay from side to side but back to front <laughs> it really doesn't feel that stable uh, yeah well I'm not going to be the one who's actually using it. This is really just to test out and see if it is as advertised and will take um, a lot of weight. And it's taking it. I wouldn't want to sit on here too often. Uh, this is going to be used for the girls just as a stopgap seat if we need something quick in the 4x4. And as you can see from the packaging, uh, it was really quite 
uh, small, uh, it's lightweight, takes up hardly any room and could be quite useful but uh, yeah definitely not going to be something I'm going to be comfortable sitting around in by the campfire I'm sure of that. Okay well let's see how easy it is to get back up again. You do need a little bit of a balance point there but yeah I not really all that sure about it. It's quite wobbly. Maybe if it's on solid ground it'll feel a bit better. Let's just try that out to be fair. Nah, I still wouldn't feel comfortable sitting in one of these, <laughs> not at my weight. Uh, I guess for the girls it'll be better, they're half my weight. It really isn't that comfortable and I, I can't say I expected all that much at 30 bucks but it was something I wanted to just test out and uh, see what the cheaper versions of these were like. I'm sure it'll come in useful uh, but not for me. I suppose strength wise it's not too bad it's just not big enough definitely not big enough it needs more room out here and uh, although the back is quite snug that's okay but not enough uh, overhang out the front so it feels a bit odd to sit on it might work for kids could be a really good little seat to, to take along for your children but not something I'm going to be using but I'm sure it'll be okay to keep in the 4x4 and just use as an emergency seat if we need it and that's all for this particular video so uh, we'll hopefully catch you again next week cheers see ya